here we have the brand new PRS DGT SE. And boy, this thing has some secrets to unpack. Let's hear a jam and we'll talk about it. to say the first time I like like when we took it out of the box picked it up and I put it in my hands I put this neck in my hands it was an interesting experience because it, it messed with my brain a little bit and I think I have an interesting conclusion at the end but let's go through the guitar first these are DGT SE pickups so um, these are in the import version of the DGT pickups and of course this has the customary three knob layout so you have a master tone and then two volume knobs um, and then you have a switch down here which goes from neck uh, to middle straight up to bridge um, all the way to the right and of course you see you have this PRS kind of strat style style uh, bridge here you know, so it's like... I know, I imagine this is an import bridge, but boy, it sure doesn't feel like it. Um, you know, so first of all, you have the block saddles, uh, uh, if you can see that. And this is a push-in... It's a push-in tremolo bar, whammy bar, whatever you want to call it. Rosewood fretboard, mahogany body, mahogany neck, and a maple cap. Now, I went for the gold top. Personally, I didn't like the look of the burst with the flame maple. Yeah, that's a flame maple veneer, not a full flame maple cap. Um, but it has, I don't know if you can see that, it has a reveal binding on the maple that I think looks really cool. And I love the moon inlays. So, I don't know if you can catch a close-up of that there with the moon inlays now these are <clears throat> just standard se tuners they're very good standard prs fare and then also real quick my signal chain so i'm going from the guitar into a analog man prince of tone and then into the walrus audio slatva and then into the electro harmonics uh, slapback echo and then a looper into the two rock uh, studio signature through the Lewitt uh, MTP 440 into the Apollo and then into the computer there'll be no post of post effects so no EQ and compression now where this guitar kind of threw me for a loop was the neck so in a lot of the promotional stuff in the beginning when this guitar was announced, uh, David Grissom uh, himself, I, DG, um, it's for David Grissom, by the way, if you didn't know that, um, amazing guitarist out of Austin. Uh, but David Grissom said that this neck feels a lot like his core guitar, which is fascinating because when I pick this up, I have no reason to doubt David. I'm like, oh, this is not a PRS. It just didn't feel quite like 
my other PRS guitars. This feels like a slightly smaller, like, 50s Gibson neck to me. It definitely has a Gibson-ish. Like, not exactly, not a dead ringer, but a Gibson-ish kind of feel. Um, here's how I would, ha here's how I would describe it. If you go, and which is going to be in the same price class as this, if you go play an Epiphone 58 Les Paul, right? The kind of like the, the R, or is it 59? The R9 or the R8, whatever. That kind of, the highest end that's supposed to be Epiphone that's supposed to be kind of analogous to the custom shop stuff. Those are great guitars, by the way. But if you grab one of those and play those, and you like the neck, but it's just a little too big, this this will be this will fit you real nice. It's just a little bit smaller. It's just a little bit like more huggable than those necks, but like it's almost in that kind of it it, it it's um it's inspired by that. It it seems like not exact, but it's 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 inspired by that. Just a little bit smaller. It even has it has a little bit more beef. Maybe a little bit more shoulder than the pattern vintage neck from PRS. <laughs> but what's interesting, it has a little bit of Strat in it because you can split these pickups into single coil sounds and you have the Strat style bridge, which stays in tune. Now, I haven't been like, you know, hammering like a crazy person on it. Now, the setup out of the box was a little high, um, which is common with PRS. You may want to budget or you shouldn't have to budget for it. You should be able to talk to your store where you buy this uh, if you're buying it new. Um, and they should adjust the action a little bit for you. Because um, this isn't, while this is a de this is affordable for PRS, it's not a cheap guitar. So this one is $850. I believe the Flame Maple one is a little more expensive, closer to $1,000. And it feels really good and plays really good the neck even though it's high gloss is not sticky um and that is uh, of course the advantage to a poly finish solid guitar holds tune really well all right well let's get into the sound samples so we're going to start with okay everything on 10 and we're going to start with the neck Let's try just some some kind of funky funky chords uh, to see how it deals with it. That also does coil splitting, so we pull up on the tone knob and now we're in a single coil now in the middle position it's hum canceling and so let's uh let's check this out and see how it sounds with kind of the, with those funky chords as well get kind of that stratty position four kind of maybe closer to a tally I don't know you can kind of get some of that so let's hear the single coil version of the neck pickup it's a 
important to realize that the, the output is much lower in single coil. But you don't have to worry about the matching because you can only do single coil mode or humbucker mode. You can't have like full humbucker on the bridge but single coil in the neck unfortunately. Still, this is an SE. It still is a beautiful uh, single coil sound in a humbucker. Now let's go to the bridge. It's got kind of that middle pickups. Almost a more akin to, you know, because it, it's not as it's nice and round, but it's not bitey like a like a telly uh, or especially a strap bridge pickup would be. It's it has to be this this coil, I would imagine, but it it, it has a middle pickup. kind of vibe a little bit. I like it. I actually think in a humbucker mode it's more it has more of a bite to it. Definitely more gain. For $850, it's an excellent deal. I mean this is a real professional guitar. You could take this and gig with it anywhere. I, I don't think you would I, I think this and it would last you a very very long time it's very very well made i love the sound of these pickups and that brings me to i think the biggest secret about this guitar and that is if you want a the prs version of a les paul forget the 594 single cuts this is it i mean even with the goalies it doesn't have that look because it's a double cutaway and of course the upper fret access is great. Like if you're a Les Paul guy, but you want a PRS because you want the G string to stay in tune and yeah, you'd like to throw in a tremolo for good measure, this is the guitar to get. This definitely reminds me more of, you know, kind of in between like a classic 57 and a burst buckler, uh, burst bucker, <laughs> buckler, burst bucker, uh, a Gibson thing. This definitely has more of the Gibson neck and the Gibson, little more of a Gibson tone to it with all the modern amenities of a PRS, including a wonderful Strat style bridge. I think whether you're in more like that $700 price point or even that $1,500 price point, I think this, this is a guitar to look at. I've even let a friend or two play this and they kind of just, sat with the guitar for a while they kind of oh, let me let me try it out and they played a little bit and, and they played a little bit and played a little bit more played a little bit more they just they didn't want to put it down this is the humbucker se to buy the three guitars of the se line that i would buy would be this the silver sky and the hollow body if you own those three guitars you can get most of the sounds that that you would need to get please like and subscribe and and comment i mean let me know what you think have you Gotten one of these, they're kind of trickling in. I had this on order since what, February, I think, or January, whenever they first announced them. Might have been January. If I, anyway, I ordered this right away and it took forever to get here, but that's okay. I'd rather it take longer and get a quality guitar. But uh, do you have one on, on order? Do you have yours? What do you think of, of yours if you have it? Thanks for watching and uh, remember, it's always about the song. Peace.